new year. The first video in this new year, we're going to talk about retrofit from CO2 lasers to fiber laser. Nowadays, there are more and more customers inquiring or they're trying to buy the sets of parts for retrofitting uh, their old laser machines. And first, for Bistrolix, Tromf, Armada, Mistubish, and uh, some brands like Baliu in your market are quite popular. But in China, mainly we do retrofit from Bistrolix, Tromf and Japanese machines and some Panta machines, Unity Frame, those Chinese brands, HG machines and Hans Laser, they are the main brands in China market. And second, uh, people also upgrading power from Yak lasers like 500 watt or 1 kilowatt or low power machine. They were bought like three to five years before. Uh, they want to, the cutting speed is really slow and they want to upgrade the power. This is the second occasion. Third, also some customers asking they want to transform from plasma machine to fiber laser cutting. This is possible, but not really popular. Let's say that many people asking about this and uh, is we can do this, but not many people finally make it. Maybe because plasma machine were made in a less accuracy mode and the, you know the way that they build the machine is not high precision cutting machine so not very suitable maybe in the end after evaluation people choose to buy a fiber laser cutting machine and who are suitable to do this job if you are the machine dealer like um, the steel two machines were sold to your customers in the past then you can promote this service or business to your customer and those engineers that has been service engineer or installation engineer, they know the beam pass of CO2 laser and it's much easier for them to, to, to do in a fiber laser way. The only uh, difficult part is to, to use the control from Bistronics or from Trump because they are very good machine. It's better to, to, uh, to keep their original CNC with their original nesting software or their operation drop software because they are they're very good ones. So you can choose to use CypherCut. That means you change completely from the laser cutting head to the control. But in China, for Trump and uh, Bastronics, people choose to keep their uh, control because it's it's better uh, for the motors and for the moving of the machine. The only problem is to make the height adjustment, the amplifier of the signal from the cutting head and that axis. Um, this is the, but if you are the service engineer, you will know how to, how to do this transformer or you can buy from China. There are people selling these uh, transformers that which you just simply um, install this and you can uh, switch the control, the G code from the baston for Tron to the new laser and cutting head. And why we're going to talk about this topic in this uh, beginning of the, this year because shipping costs for laser cut machine has become very very expensive. And I think all of you know that because of the tough competition, there are some brands they keep the quality of the laser cut machine but most of the cutting machine manufacturers in China choose to make a more economic configuration of the machine instead of, uh, instead of make the same quality machine like they do in the past. So let's take a look at the CO2 machine at your customer side or at your factory. They are like 20 tons weight and uh, they move really fast even with 10 years running. They keep red fairly good accuracy and uh, dynamics. So even today we compare these old machines with the new machines from Jinan or from other cities or small names of the manufacturers in China. I think the CO2 lasers still have better quality compared with them. So it's no, not just because they are running in CO2, so they consume the mixer gas and the higher electricity consumption make this cutting technology not competitive but doesn't mean this machine is not good 
So what we can do is that we can we can retrofit them into fiber, so you can have the lowest cutting cost, but with good machine, and you save the shipping cost. I think some sometimes for the single table machine, the shipping cost even the same high as the cost of the machine is ridiculous. Second, for making this video this time, I. I, I, I'm a little bit touching with, with putting all these videos together because on this video, the Bionics machine, Trunk machine, Unity Prima and Hans Laser, they were, I, I have seen them many times, hundreds of times in my customer factory. And they're really very nice machines and they're cutting perfect. And they make money for all these uh, end users, fabricators. I think they, they're just perfect machines and uh, a, a bit out of date because of the technology transformation. We can make them reborn. It's very good. If you are the engineer with the techniques, I really think that you can catch up this business chance and uh, you can reborn all, all these uh, perfect machines and they will cut like this for another 10 years, like they have done in the past 10 years. So why not to do this? If you if you have chances to do this business and uh, if you need the transformers for the for the Bastronic Sotron for Amada control with the uh, Rakus or Max lasers and Rakus cutting head or Presse cutting head, we can provide you service and you can also inquire us about the laser and cutting head prices and we will give you a really competitive package. That's all for today. Thank you. Okay.